<clears throat> I'll just try to lose off of YouTube. Okay, waypoints two and three are the bar cap. Waypoint one, I think, is the uh, Vicksburg. So once we get in that general area, we can kind of figure out the ranges and go from there. And you got a good comms check, right? Good com. All righty. Kneeboard. So we got snap. Is that snap on two? We're on three. Where's, uh, okay, there they are. Snap is on. The cats go left to right or right to left? It's supposed to go. One is, I think, the forward right. Two is forward left. Three is waist, you know, right. Four is waist left, if I recall. Okay, yeah. Uh, snap's on four. Okay, you're on four, so. On two. Okay. Briefing. And that works out fine, so I'll just fly loose off of you two. Anyone else getting flickering water, or is it just me? Dark Star, Ford, three, two, my water looks okay. It's probably me. Y'all ready to go? Good to go. Who's ready? Good to go. Uh, Dark Star says that uh, 354 for 180. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get in the air. We'll figure it out once we're in the air. Kneeboard. Seven it looks seven. like we're clipped in. Kneeboard. When I throttled up, we didn't morph. Three, three, dark star, pop up group, three, five, four, four, one hundred eighty at four. Uh, but our shield's not up. It's up on mine. We are hooked in. We all started hooked in. Four, three, two, request takeoff. Yeah, I suggest we go ahead and get going. I'm seeing some hostile, or I am seeing some enemies on the radar. Numerous. Uh, should I wait for Apollo to launch? Yes. Are you ready to go, Apollo? Yep. Launching now. Okay, let's go. F2. F1. Yeah, guys, at Rio's, don't forget to set up your data links. Okay, once everyone gets rejoined, we'll go ahead and head to waypoint one. It's quite a ways away. Everyone up on the AWACS? One, your flaps are down. Four three three star bra three five five four one hundred eighty at four thousand flanking. I don't get it. Some of the mappings aren't working. Four three three dark star bra three three nine four one hundred eighty at twenty one thousand cold. Yeah, three's under run. Yeah, visual. You're at our uh, you're at our nine o'clock low.
and leads at our. Uh, he's uh, Apollo's lead. He's at our two o'clock, one o'clock low. Are the flaps tucked? We're in his wake. We ready to gain altitude? Okay, flight. Let's push waypoint one. Let's climb to twenty thousand feet. Don't forget to set your uh, cruise and nav to uh, dust. Copy. Snap, do you want to come up here and take lead? Okay. Yeah, I'm just not 100% comfy in this jet at all. Okay. Once I get up there, we'll switch. You know, we're cut the a little bit, let me get up there. Chat window. F2. F1. Just so you know, we're carrying two Phoenix, three Am uh, Sparrows, and two Sidewinders. Okay, I'm passing over top of you right now. Three is one. Yeah, let's go ahead and start climbing to 20,000. Lead, give us some. I'll hold it a point seven. You're going to be overtaking them by a bit. Just be prepared for it. Leveling off at 20,000. I think I'm above you. Uh, do you have eyes on me? Two has you. Yeah. Two has you. You're at uh, Leeds 9 o'clock high, about 400 feet. 
Okay, yeah, I see you. I don't want to come down on you. Uh, you're fine. Go ahead and uh, just cut your throttle back a little bit because you're a little bit in front of us. Okay, radar contact about 20 right, mm, 160 miles inbound to, uh, looks like they're heading towards waypoint 2. I'm going to go ahead and push it up to point 8. And the flight can go ahead and go uh, Four, three, three. Dark Star, bra, three, zero, nine, four, two. Two. Might want to think about fencing soon. So we can go ahead and, uh, you know, get your uh, missile prep and your sidewinder cool. Copy. Yep, I uh, already set up for that. Maybe too early. <laughs> Two's fenced, uh, 18. Come left a little bit, straighten back up. Four three three, Dark Star, pop up group zero one one four one hundred sixty at three thousand knots. Apollo, uh, you got your uh, missile stations turned on and everything. Yeah, we're okay. uh, live and armed. Okay, just checking. No, I'm glad you said something because I wasn't. I'm just not comfy in this jet. I have to use a lot of brain to just make it run. That's fine. Those three switches are basically all you need to set your master on to be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the throttle of the middle power now. Just hurry, hurry up and get up there. Enter your channel. F2. F1. We haven't reached the enemies yet, so you haven't missed anything except for a flight. Where'd Apollo go? You sure that's not us? I've got a clear view. We're here. two miles behind you. Okay, let's go ahead and move up. We're way sucked. Remember, we want to have him off to our. Uh, we want to be right on his bearing line.
feel free to use the, uh, you know, you can engage the autopilot, but don't use the altitude reference, and it'll kind of provide you a, almost like a command wheel steering type mode. It'll stabilize the jet a bit. Just be sure to turn it off before anything gets crazy. Yeah. I've messed around a little bit with it. Uh, I'm a, it would actually make me probably a little more uncomfortable to do that right now. Just, um, yeah, no worries. I don't have it on radar. AWAC's almost useless. He's calling stuff I think that doesn't really matter right now. That 003 for 140 matters. I have some that are 152 miles, about 40 right. 30 right. Oh yeah, you can see the one that are that are twenty three right, twenty one thousand. We'll call that. Uh, we'll call him Bandit One. He's a two ship. You see it, Roach? Yeah, I see it. You agree, Bandit One? Maverick, I think I think you're hot right now. You're broadcasting on the intercom. And you're getting him on uh Roach, you're getting him on data link only, correct? Affirmative, yeah, I haven't got uh, my scope on him yet. Still looking. So right now, if you look, we're kind of sucked. You can either get closer to him or you can move out if you want to maintain spacing and get on that bearing line. That way he can see us because where we are, he won't be able to see us. Gotcha. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see this is good. Oh, Bandit, I didn't say. You lost him, right, Roach? Bev's is the 
Bandit Group, Jurassic Eight Clock, Bandit Group One. Bandit Group faded. Bandit One faded. Okay, we've got Bandits, Jurassic Eight Clock, way out there also. Four three three, Dark Star, Bra, three two two. Four, yeah, they shouldn't be a factor yet. And we're going sucked again. Four, three, three. Dark star, bra. If I'm nagging you too much, let me know. Nope, that's good. I could use the reminder. Okay, I got bandit one back on data link anyway. Two Xerox. Yeah, um, nails 29 and 30 out there, it looks like. Three looks like uh, three. Holy shit. There's a lot lighting this up now. I don't have them on primary, I just got data link. I'm getting them in and out. Hey, TWS or RWS? Or Pulse? Pulse Doppler with a narrow scan. See, I remember that time without you having to tell me. <laughs> well, that's good, because I was heads down. Although now I'm pulling a little front. Oh, no, this is fine still. You're fine. That's what I was saying. Um, yeah, waypoint two and three are the bar cap. If they get within, you know, I don't. We'll have to figure out the distance here. But yeah, if they start pushing close, then we're gonna we'll push back. Yeah, according to my radar, they've all turned cold. Both groups. The. Uh, Bandit one group, the two ship is clo about 200 knot closure on us. And confirm two ship. Yeah, Only picking them up on PD search. And we've been climbing a bit. I've got him on the, I've got him on Pulse Doppler and he's showing he, that he's heading away from us. Oh yeah, I'm actually showing like a hundred knots uh, opening. I'm switching to waypoint two. And turning toward it.
Yeah, I lost him on PD. Looks like he turned back into us. Yeah. 500 knots closure. They're getting close. And they're coming up on, uh, they're coming up on TWS. Ninety miles out, twenty-one thousand seven hundred knots closure. They're coming right at us. Okay, we're about twenty miles from the bar cap zone, so they're about that puts them sixty miles from the bar cap. Uh, we'll just call if they get within twenty. We will go aggressive on them. Two. Three. Are you, uh, Roach, can you confirm you're seeing like two pair, maybe three pair out there? Yep, same here. That might have been a bad track. Affirmative. I'm going to STT the, uh, the first group. That is the northern group, or the northeastern group. Actually, southeastern group, the group to the right. Let me see if I can get a lock on them. We're going to be maneuvering out of our uh, radar uh, gimbals, so we won't be able to get anything on that group that we were just tracking. But there's two, uh, there's uh, two other targets out there with them. Okay. When we get to waypoint three, we'll come around uh, to the left again, which will put us behind the bar cap, and that'll give us a little bit of time to look at them again. And we've gone way sucked, yeah, but I'm sure you noticed. Yeah, we've So if you set your tin up, you can uh, you can keep an eye on them. Thanks. Okay. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I got him on data link. Kind of a tense situation, huh? Just a bit. We're sucked. We're at 13.4.
at uh, ten seven. I had to use burners to catch up. Unless anyone is concerned, I'm gonna go music on. Two's over run. Yeah, we still have visual, or I have visual. Remember, when you're going to go under run, you want to bring your nose down so you go underneath them. That way you can still see them because when you turn like that away from them, um, they will go bad. What was that call, Roach? There's an unknown on the deck at 60 miles, uh, 40, right? Yeah, I got him. 77 miles for me? Yeah, that's probably right. Oh, and a new group just pops up. Uh... Such a nerd. I just tried to put my fingers on the TID so I could measure a distance. And that doesn't work too good in VR. I cannot get this guy locked up. Should I go air air? But should I go air to air on the Phoenix? Uh, yeah, whatever you think is best here. Okay, I got one of them locked up. Can I deem yet? He's out of the gimbal limits for the camera. Phoenix is up and hot for you. I'm coming up a little bit. You all can go ahead and stay on the waypoint. The group that's far west, um, we have locked up. The one that has the one that's at twenty two thousand.
So I still got this dude locked up, but I can't ID him yet. We lost a lot because we turned. Uh, we've got a guy, it looks like about 10 o'clock, hot to us. Yep. If you want to go ahead and give him a look out. Which one are you turning on? The, the, the closer of the two, right? Yeah, we're out of gimbal. We can't get the camera to look at him. We're going to have to come left quite a bit. You've got the guy that's like right off our nose, right? I got the one that's about 40 left. I'm launching Fox 3. You know what altitude? Sorry, Master Armon. You got our Master Armon? Master Arm is on, yep. A Phoenix is selected, so you should be good to fire. Okay, we got an SC 33 coming up behind Snap. Okay. We're getting close enough. You're gonna. We're getting close enough. You're. Yeah. Leave the Phoenix up, but be prepared to go to something closer. Copy. I don't see the guy behind us. Guy behind us is uh, showing ten thousand. So he's between five and fifteen thousand. What's that? You see that down there? The one o'clock low bus. No, Joey. Okay. Yeah, that may have been uh, the one who splashed. Do you still have our? You still have our wingman in flight or our flight lead you in sight? The guy behind us? Oh. I've lost him. Okay, that. Okay, we got a visual right here at our twelve o'clock high. Your twelve o'clock high. I've got somebody at uh, seven o'clock. Uh, five o'clock. That's uh, Apollo and Roach. Copy. Is that a bogey right? I don't know. I'm gonna lock him up and we'll see. I got him locked. Good to fire if he's a bogey. He's a bogey, bogey, splash him, splash him, splash him. Set our three o'clock though, five miles. Key. Two's engaged, SC-27. 
Okay, unload the, air, unload the aircraft a bit. He's going to try and zoom climb. Let's get some energy back. I'm keeping an eye on him. He's 12 o'clock high. He's flaring. Uh, go for a sidewinder. Roger, I've got a sidewinder on. I'm just trying to... I don't have the speed to cut, get it out there right now. Roaching Apollo. I have him in sight. 1 o'clock high. All right, I got eyes on. Okay, okay. roll him. He's, he's, he's turn to the right. Level turn to the right. Level turn to the right. There you go. Ease up on the stick. We're, we're going to bleed off. We're the trailer. We're the trailer. He's at our 12 o'clock high. Going for a VSL high. Okay, okay, we just lost visual on him. Unload the jet. Unload the jet. Get the nose down. Get the nose down. Let's get some energy back. Missile launch. Okay, missile launch. Him, missile launch. Bet him high. 12 o'clock. Yes, it is. Is, is, he's, uh, he's conning, right? He's conning. A firm. Like Splash. I got him. Nice <laughs> shot, guys. Affirmative. I'm getting a spike. Okay, we gotta go back to the Vicksburg. Two ship about 48 miles away to our five o'clock at the moment. So the Vicksburg is taking hits. Yeah, one of ours up to our one o'clock okay. high buzz. Should be. Stand by. We got to get back to one of our waypoints here. Waypoint two, we're 16 miles away. Waypoint one, we're 39 miles away. Uh, shit. Zero. No, sorry. One four zero to the uh, to the Vicksburg. Let's come back to waypoint Two's nine thousand. Okay. Yeah, easy on that burner. Three's eight thousand. Four three three. Dark star. Bra. One four one four thirty. At two thousand five hundred. Flanking. Who am I following this con in at 28,000? Uh, that would be Roach and Apollo. We've lost everybody on radar. We've yeah, lost I don't our... know why they're not coming up on radar. And we've lost our data link. Yeah, and I'm showing uh, Nails 29 to the east, Nails 29 to the uh, northwest. Yeah, zooming out more on the data link, I'm showing one group at uh, 5 o'clock and one group at uh, 7 o'clock long. We failed. The Vicksburg is sinking. Who was hitting it? No idea. Was the Vicksburg at waypoint one? I believe so, and we're quite a ways from it. Hey, I got the group over waypoint one. They're uh, 
climbing heading southbound? My radar is showing nothing. I don't even see waypoints anymore. If I didn't know any better, I'd say our radar is dead. Plus, we're gonna have to visual ID before firing, then, right? We our radar is dead. We we don't have a radar. Okay, copy. I'm just gonna try and stick on Apollo for now. Chat window. Chat window. I'm gonna go down low and see if anything's hanging out down low. Got the radar back. Somehow, one of the filters got selected that I never selected. Copy. Oh, that's good news. Spike. Okay. Spike. 29. Buzz, uh, you see that guy, the 29, locking us up? Yeah, he's about, um, about 90 left. If it's the one I'm thinking he is. Okay, missile launch, missile launch. Be sure you see the missile before you start maneuvering so we know where it is. Okay, missile, it's at our 11 o'clock low, 10 o'clock low, 10 o'clock low. Let's go left. Copy, I got it. Okay, let's engage him. Let's, let's turn left and engage this fucker. Left. Another missile. Roger, I see it. Oh, uh, you got us. Okay. No tally. Howdy and buzzer hit. Yep, he's behind us. There he is. He's turning in on us. Yeah, we have no more power. We're going to have to eject. 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 Yeah, and the time it took after we took the first hit to figure out what was going on, he turned in on us and got another shot off. What, did we die? We died. I'm asking Apollo. I've uh, got no intercom all of a sudden. We did have a missile yeah, go right by I've us. I've got no control over the aircraft. Yeah. All right, I think this is about time to get out. What do you think? Yeah, we just, uh, we just got one down. Yeah, I see the other. I see you guys going in. I saw you punched out. Those guys are sneaky as shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Like he came out of nowhere. Well, also remember this. This is intended for uh, four two-man crews. It looks like. I have to say that was fun, though. Yeah, it looks like some of them were low, and we just never picked them up. And AMAC never picked them up, and they were the ones hitting the boat. Because when I went down low to look at the Vicksburg, there was uh, some stuff down there. Yeah, was. well, we were seeing intermittent contacts down low. Um, I think that's the reason why they intend this to be a four ship, because then you can split two to go off and do the uh, two to go offense, two to go defense. Right. User enters your channel. There's a lot of uh, hostiles in the area, though, and it's. I love how it's set up where they're they're kind of dancing with you to start with. Like, where should we be? Exactly.